Yo, what's good? I make this a quick one purely as I'm quite tired and uh, I got stuff to do tomorrow. But I'm going to do a little review for you. I listened to Anthrax's Fistful of Metal not so long back today. And I've been holding off listen to, listening to this record. Um, I'm going through a journey of listening to the entire discography of all of the big four records, or all of the big four bands' records from start to finish. And I'm two records through the other three bands of the four, but I've been anxious to start Anthrax's discography purely as I've heard reference that it just wasn't that good. One person says the best track on the record is an Alice Cooper cover. And uh, another individual just says it's rubbish. And uh, some people don't necessarily consider it an Anthrax record, purely as it doesn't have uh, Joey on there. It has a fella called Neil Turpin. Now, I was pleasantly surprised. It was a easy enough listen. Neil Turpin's vocals are very good. Uh, very powerful, has a fantastic high register, has a fantastic vibrato. I was very pleased with what I heard as far as the vocals are concerned. The riffs were about, were so-so, you know what I mean? There was nothing groundbreaking, nothing incredible as far as the rhythm guitars were concerned. Guitar solos were a bit played out, a bit drawn out. There was one really good one, there was a track called Panic, and the guitar solo one, that was... Uh, Really mature, really well developed, well written, and uh, I was a I was a fan of that guitar solo. That was really like the first guitar solo I heard on the record as well at like track four, and then they just came like every single song thereafter. So that's what I think as far as that's concerned. Song writing wise, it wasn't bad. There was no bad structuring, no bad songwriting. It just seemed a little bit basic, a little bit foundational. Uh, it definitely opened the gateway to me checking out more Anthrax, which I am going to do, so I'm looking forward to some good riffs from here on in. Uh, my friend gave me an insight and said I should perceive them as a New York hardcore band from now, as they're going to be pretty mosh heavy and that really tickles me the right way. I'm looking forward to that. The bass guitarist was left out of the mix on the recording uh, I was listening to. The sound engineer really didn't give the bass line no shine. Nor did the band. Like The bassist had no moments to stand out or actually perform on the record. It was just, it existed underneath the guitar, just to play the guitar riffs and that was about it. Um, I didn't listen to the Alice Cooper cover, to be honest with you, because I'm not a fan of listening to uh, cover songs given I don't know the original. I just think it's pointless. I've got no reference point. I'd rather hear the original material. So that was my opinion on that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this one short and simple, less than four minutes long. If I'm going to rate this record, I'll give it, a, give it a three and a half, four out of ten, to be honest with you. Uh, it was palatable. It was short enough. The audio experience was pleasurable. It was just a bit bland, you know. It was a bland record. The artwork was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. That's a bit... A bit don't, don't, don't leave a, you know, a, a flavourable taste in my mouth. It just was what it was. It was just an half-decent metal record.